Mark Risen Hopkins here at South by Southwest 2011, and I'm standing next to Josh Kaufman, the author of the book The Personal MBA. Hi, Mark. Great Hi. to be with you. Great to be with you as well. So, just ran into Josh in the hallway here, setting up his books at the uh, the book stand. Uh, you can see it behind me. And uh, he's got an interesting story. He, uh, like myself, was a developer that fell into business. So why don't you tell me a little bit about that story? That, that, that would really resonate with the kind of people that follow me around. I've got a developer-centric audience. So your, your journey into being a business guy and how, how you went about learning. So. Absolutely. I actually, uh, right out of college, uh, worked a job at Procter & Gamble doing kind of hardcore web development stuff. And uh, in a couple months, I found myself working in, on marketing campaigns. And uh, as a result, by the time I graduated, I had a... Uh, offered to be an assistant brand manager at Procter & Gamble, mm -hmm. so like really hardcore marketing in the largest company in the world. And so um, that was intimidating. Mm -hmm. It was really scary. You know, coming from an engineering background, coming from a programming background. Where you know what you're talking about yeah. most of the time. Yeah, and, and you can really kind of um, understand what you're doing and use kind of fundamental ideas to make your job easier. Mm -hmm. And uh, going into a business position and, you know, not having my MBA, that, that was very intimidating. And so uh, it didn't make sense for me to go to school to get a job I already had. And so I basically decided to give up on the credentialing part, but not on the education. Mm -hmm. And so I went to Barnes & Noble and the Cincinnati Public Library, and I started reading. Right. And six years later, I've read thousands of books and have kind of taken that jumble of information and made sense of that sense of it, which is the personal MBA. Personal MBA. So, and you've got a community that goes along with this. Uh, Website right there on the front of the cover, yep. uh, personalmba.com. That's right. So, uh, you your your mission is is not just about doling out information in a static form, but you actually have a community of people that you help out actively and and it help, helps each other out. Yeah, so we have a community of thousands of people from all over the world who are in the same situation. They may be a creative person or a programmer or a designer or an architect, and they need the business knowledge, but they don't need the piece of paper that says they theoretically know something. And so um, the purpose of the personal MBA is to help people understand the fundamentals of business, but then to connect people from all over the world who are uh, trying to get a world-class business education, but on their terms. So do you, do you deal with uh, mostly like bootstrappers or do you, do you have advice for folks that uh, want to seek funding, uh, kind of like it's very common in the Valley, yeah. one of the beats that we cover. So, totally. so uh, what, what's, uh, what's, what's your advice, I guess, or, or what, what things do you have to say to people that are in, in this like kind of a bubbly atmosphere right now where money's getting handed out left and right? What are some of the things that you tell them to look out for? Uh, in, in that kind of environment and that kind of business. Totally. I really advocate that anyone who's trying to start a business, whether they're bootstrapping it or whether they're um, trying to get funding for it, they really need to under understand the fundamentals of what a business is and how it works. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to raise money, the clearer you are about how the business will come together and make money, the easier it will be to talk to a VC and uh, show them a plan that makes sense and actually get the funding. So really, businesses have five parts. Every business creates something of value. They attract attention, which is marketing. Um, they close sales, transactions, right? Mm -hmm. um, they deliver what they promise, and they make more money than they spend and enough to keep going, right? right. That's a business. Right. And um, so with a bootstrapper, I tell them, basically start there. Um, that's essentially the, basic, the, the essentials of a very basic business plan. And then if you're trying to get funding, you take those fundamentals and just add on another layer, which is this is going to be a solid business, but the people who are lending you money or giving you money in investment need to see a return. Mm -hmm. And so you do the math for them. Right. And the clearer you can lay that out, uh, the more effectively you can stand in front of the VC and say, this is a plan that's worth investing millions of dollars into. So uh, I, I imagine, uh, since you've got your finger on the pulse of this this world, uh, the you know the bootstrap and the the, the startup guys. Uh, so what are some of the new? Because the VC universe, the VC universe has really changed in the last uh, sure. year or so. Really, sure. maybe a couple of years. Definitely the last decade. So what has what has been the biggest new problems for folks that are trying to go that route that didn't exist before? Yeah, I think it's. Um 
the new problem is a couple decades ago, it's like anything that might hypothetically make sense. Mm -hmm. it, you know, VCs were making very large bets on very tenuous ideas and making a lot of them and hoping just a couple of them worked. Right. Um, we're getting a little bit more bubbly now, but VCs really want to see a solid business model. Where are you charging or who are you selling to? Where's the money coming in? What multiple can they expect on uh, what, what they have given? And uh, so the business fundamental stuff, it, it really never changes. So, so you're, you're saying basically, and this is what I'm hearing you say, hearing you say is that business, business sense is more important now than it yes. may have been. You can't just be a, a great hacker with a dream. Totally, totally. You have to have a plan to bring in revenue uh, from real paying customers. And the clearer you can prove to a VC that you have those, the easier it will be to raise money. Very good. And you've got a, you've got a book uh, reading. Is it uh, tomorrow? What day is it? Yeah, it's tomorrow at 4 p.m. in Ballroom G. And I'll be reading selections from the personal MBA. Tomorrow being Friday. We're Friday. recording this on Thursday. We're not sure when this will air. So <laughs> Friday at Ballroom G here at South by Southwest. Thank you. Thanks so much, Mark. Take it easy.